Hello everybody, welcome to another YouTube tutorial where today I'm going to be walking you guys through a super neat tool that I've been using for years and years and years now and that is called Winderstat. If you've ever had the issue of having your disk almost full and not knowing what was hogging up all the space, Winderstat has a solution by visualizing what is actually in your hard drive. Let's get started. To get started, you are going to hit the first link in the description, and that will bring you to the downloads page for Winderstat. We're going to download Winderstat from the SourceForge, and the download will automatically start. I'm just going to put the installer in my downloads folder. From here, you're going to walk through the download installer for Winderstat, and whenever you complete the process, you will be shown this page right here. Now, this first pop-up that you're going to see is asking you if you want to do all local drives for your computer or individual drives for your computer. In this case, Case, I'm going to do all local drives and hit OK. Depending on how many hard drives you have and or how many things you have in your hard drives, uh, it could take a little bit of time. In this case, I don't think it's going to take too long. You can see that there is an elapsed time counter here, so I will be right back whenever this finishes. So as you can see, it has finished. It does look a little confusing at first when you first look at it, but I'm going to walk through it and it's actually really, really intuitive. So if you first click on my computer, you can see the entire size of what is in your computer right now. This is of the used space that Winderstat was able to visualize. Over here on the right are the top groups of files from top to bottom. Uh, you can click on each one of them to actually highlight what is what, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to stay on the computer so you can see this white border outline here. That is everything that is in your computer. So you can see that my C drive is 52.6% of my total space in my computer that's being used up right now. When you click on it, you can see the white borderline hovers over the actual parts of the computer itself. So you can go through and you like click on these different things. So in this case, the Epic Games Launcher is still installed on my computer with Fortnite. So Fortnite is actually taking up this big percentage of my computer. And so I could go in and I could actually uninstall that game and then this would be cleared. Another example is like if I click on one of these random boxes, it's in the data file of Call of Duty. So you can see that when I click here, I can scroll up and see in the tree what program this is coming from. So if I click on Call of Duty, you can see that Call of Duty is taking up this much space. So if I were to delete Fortnite and Call of Duty, I would clear up all of this space in my hard drive. So let's look over on the other side in the D drive that I have. I Let's start with this big block. So if I click over on this guy, I can see that it is a core file in the file tree of Sea of Thieves. So Sea of Thieves actually takes up this amount of space. And then inside of here, this big green one, I scroll up after clicking on one of those files, you can see that it is from Helldivers. So the, if I were to delete Fortnite, Call of Duty, Sea of Thieves, and Helldivers, I would actually get back a ton of space. I would get 57, 64, 103. So 300 gigabytes of space is what I would get back after deleting those games off of my computer. It's just a very cool program to visualize. Like, where in the world, like, how am I spending all of this space like where is all of this space going you can delete files from the Winderstat window but i would recommend if it's game specifically i would recommend going into steam or epic games or wherever and uninstall it from the actual installer itself however i do believe that this is one of the best programs that you can have on a computer especially if you're trying to diagnose a problem where something's coming from why in the world your disk space is so low. This is one of the best programs to use for this. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below or head to the Discord where me and my team are able to assist you. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.